The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Twelve hundred years ago, the largest and most powerful of the ancient Maya cities of its time rose out of the jungle in what is today Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. With its temples, great ball cord, and sacred well, the city of Chichen Itza attracted pilgrims from around the Maya world for spectacular religious celebrations that often centered on the Maya's keen observation of the cosmos. That understanding continues to fascinate us to this day. Centuries after the peak of the Maya civilization, technology developed in the Bay Area is helping to shed light on the astronomical discoveries of the ancient Maya. And it's giving the Bay Area's immigrant Maya community new tools to connect to its history. Being from there and knowing that your ancestors uh, built that pyramid, it just brings some feeling of connection with those places. You know, it just makes your imagination fly. Bay Area researchers are using state-of-the-art laser scanners to recreate Chichen Itza's buildings and the ways in which the Maya used them to observe the stars and planets. These 3D digital images are the basis for a new half-hour film about Maya astronomy called Tales of Maya Skies. For the first time, Oakland Chabot Space and Science Center is borrowing a technology that is widely used in Hollywood films to create a show for its planetarium. The theater's rounded shape offers a unique experience. We were testing whether in fact people learn, which we believe they do, more effectively in this kind of an immersive environment. You're nearly surrounded by 360 degrees of sound, color, intensity. By exposing some of the history, the myths, the culture of the Maya, interwoven with the science and the astronomy, I think it's really compelling. Starting around the year 250, the Maya built monumental cities in southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador. But by the time the Spaniards arrived to the Americas in 1492, overpopulation, political unrest, and war had led the residents of most of these cities to disperse. The Spaniards wreaked further havoc through violence and disease. The Maya survived these hardships, and today, millions still live in the region. But civil war and the crisis of small-scale farming have pushed tens of thousands to immigrate to the United States. Nearly 5,000 Guatemalan Maya and 25,000 Maya from Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula have settled in the Bay Area. Maya activist Alberto Perez, who was born in the Yucatan, hopes that through its vivid recreation of Chichen Itza, the new film will help his community reconnect with its history. And it brings the best of the modern technology, computer animation, and puts it at the service of reconstructing our past. One, two, in order to produce Tales of Maya Skies, the Chabot Center worked with two Bay Area nonprofits to capture Chichen Itza's architecture and artistic details with laser scanners rather than traditional film technology. Scanning gives the film's producers more flexibility. An advantage of scanning is that when you have the three-dimensional scene, you can then virtually relight it and you can actually have a virtual camera. And that camera you can place anywhere you want and you can have sweeping views. You can do aerials that you, you couldn't possibly afford. Kevin Kane is the director of Insight, the Emeryville nonprofit that supervised the scanning in Chichen Itza. His company carried out the close range scanning of the glyphs, sculptures, and artwork on the buildings with super fast lasers that pick up the location of each point on an object's surface, creating a cloud of points. It's like a transit that a surveyor might use, but instead of picking up one point at a time, you pick up probably hundreds of thousands of points within a minute, and actually, as you start aggregating those into a cloud of measurements, you have billions of points. 